And next up with the four will match from Pirium because they are called up to the main war star and um, they will face off against the Buazas and High Energy but before this I want to uh, give you um, information about what happened earlier tonight. Earlier tonight we had uh, the Brothers response to their loss last week of losing both undefeated streak and tag competition and the tag tiles to Legado of Fantasmas or Mendoza and uh, Jacqueline Wild. We, um, also had a huge win for Pete Dunn despite being an ambushing his uh, the NX UK uh, champion Mask Man. Uh, at, but he got a huge counter victory. It's the first one ever who defeated Mask Man in one-on-one -on -one competition. Even though it was to counter and not to a pin or submission, so Mask Man still haven't been pinned or submitted in one or um, at all, you know. And um, yeah, he never took a loss not by himself. So that's impressive. Also, uh, someone else who's undefeated got a huge win, and that's in one-on-one -on -one com um, competition. That's Andy with a huge win over as well, despite the best of the Blight one to cheat, and Zero, the so-called hero, didn't help his teammate at all. So, yeah, his, uh, or his ally, if you will. We don't know if Andy and Zero are a team, or if they just have a common enemy. So... Then we also had Sue Cox once again attacking the person who took a tile from her and uh, Zaya Lee, the, new, the NXT UK Women Champion. I mean, Cox is the former champion, Co Zaya Lee is now the champion. Cox made her pay with a viciously uh, assault. Speaking about the swords, we um, saw the Death Demon Senior attacked um, Nuo's family member Papa Shango, the voodoo master, the voodoo, voodoo legend, with a vicious assault in the backstage area. Maybe it's because of the loss that he uh, caused them last week in the handicaps. We won one match against uh, Dexter Loomis because it was Shango taking the take the who took the loss there. I believe. Also, um, we had this eight-person woman's uh, uh, eight women's tag match between uh, the Demon Family and Toxic Blondes. They got the vic um, against K Kota and Raquel and Warriors of the Sky, where the baddies won it because of uh, whiteboards on the outside allowing Dana to get the win for her teams um, uh, with over Raquel with a neckbreaker. They were cheating involved by Toxic Blondes and Demon Family, and that allowed him to get the victory. We also saw. Um, just a couple of moments ago, what our new tag team champions, they got the Phantasmas, Raul Mendoza and Jacqueline Wilde are able to do by um, defeating Umberto and Angel just a couple of moments ago. Now we have the former tag team champions with the brothers Sasha and Big Sash um, and High Energy by their side who try to get their uh, revenge on the uh, what Imperium did the last up following weeks and months also don't forget they were responsible for Clark not being injured and not able to compete now he is able to repeat and send Imperium packing but we will see if he gets revenge also fun fact Blue Falcon is the only champion in this matchup and he has no clear challenger whatsoever for the next paper he has n he's no feud anymore with Imperium being gone he had nobody for his to defend his title on, so who knows who will challenge him next for this title. The following contest is an eight-man tag team match. Introducing first. Representing High Energy from Norwich, England, weighing in at 158 pounds. Clark! As there comes Clark heading to the ring. You'll never hear a single negative thing backstage about this superstar. Well, that is what happens when you As Clark, so focused and ready to get his revenge on Imperium, it cost him weeks and months of his career. And he just got, and he just got here three months ago. So how how much anger will he feel about Imperium costing him so many moments, so so uh, many opportunities, if you will, as well? I mean, maybe he could have been champion if it wasn't for Imperium taking him out of the picture completely. But now he's back with uh, the music from Swerve, I believe. You got 
I think it is the case. Yeah, I think he was with music. <laughs> Just to let you know. And then I really need to focus myself on giving them all entrance mu entrance videos. I keep forgetting about it, but sometimes the highlights are really shitty. But I also want to give them um, moments with happens in the universe. What happened in the universe mode? Just that you know. But I'm working on it. There comes the NXT North American Champion Blue Falcon. Has no challengers currently for his uh, title, but he already defeated it against. Um, Already defeated and, um, two weeks ago in the imp against Imperium's Fabian Eigner successfully in by escaping the cage in a bang of a match. If you haven't checked it out, check it out or right now if you want to. Well, what a bang of a match you see cage match was with what we had, he had two weeks ago with Fabian Eigner. Before that, he was feuding. Uh, last week we had a match with Wolf and uh, with, uh, not Wolf, with Walter from Pium the Wing General with the Liga. Wolf got involved with sheep shots and tactics and they got a victory over Falcon. We are uh, counter, but then Clark came out, took the bullet for his teammate. Otherwise it would be his teammate laying down and out instead of Clark and that's how much a friendship means to both of them Blue Falcon and Clark because Blue Falcon would have taken the same bullet I believe that and uh, they also uh, made their pay with the debut against Fabian Eichner Marcel Patel back when they were tag team champions and to a losing effort in a very good ladder match but they def Clark and Falcon both defeated Fabian Eichner Marcel Patel in their first night here and NXT and back uh, three months ago and um, yeah Clark got injured by Walter Battelle and Eigner and this one want the salt and um, yeah talking out of the picture where Falcon was still feuding with Imperium um, he teamed up with Maskman on occasions but to losing all thoughts um, but also won with Maskman once I believe and also the brothers also joined forces in a with Maskman and Blue Falcon where they all, all were feuding had a common enemy in Imperium where brothers had feu feuding with Battelle and Eigner and getting the tag tiles off them only to lose them last week to Legado de Fantasma in an open challenge uh, that Sasha issued for the entire team. We don't know how big Sasha feels about all of this. But they will be happy to see Imper send Imperium hat packing, I believe. So much is to be between the, t between the teams. I can't even, I don't think I even can go back to everything that happened between the teams. I mean, there were so many cheap shot numbers came from Imperium to keep their ties. I mean, before it was the Brothers. Big Zash, as you see right here, and his teammate will, will follow the loan of Zasha. Um, and Blue Falcon and Massman Imperium were all champion if it wasn't for them. I'm also sure that Massman wouldn't have no problem to be part of this match against Imperium as well if, he wa if it wasn't for Pitan having issues with him. Um, Massman have other things now to worry about. Now there's Sasha marching down to the wing. The Blood Brothers from Dresden, Germany, weighing in at 206 pounds. The Outlaw. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Almost uh, what my, uh, goes to the loan was mine we heard earlier tonight in this promo. I would like to sing Imperium's song to goodbye. <laughs> That's how they feel about Imperium. I'm pretty sure that his teammate agree on it. His teammates. Normally he walks alone, but because of if it wasn't for Imperium, it would stay that way. But they saw a problem with his brother Big Sash and with himself, where he was feuding with Wardy back at our pay first pay per view at World to Canada. So Battelle got involved for unknown reasons. And then. Since then it's history. 
Such a big, such teamed up. Chase the gold from Eigner, but talent they got the revenge by taking the title off from Pium, but. It would feel even sweeter for all of them to send him Pium hack packing to uh, SmackDown with a loss here tonight. <laughs> but easier said than done. Sasha so celebrating. Perhaps also a uh, tribute, a march to one more Wendy Orton there with the pose that Orton has been known for. <laughs> Stack up in Pium as high energy is so hyped for this matchup as. Look at the rules. look at the f look at the gestures from Clark and Fargan, they want revenge. For them and injuring Clark. So comes in Pium with all the gold without any gold, I mean <laughs> like I said, there was a time back in the past when they all had gold, but it was the brothers taking the tag titles of Fabian Eigner, Marcel Bartel, by Blue Falcon took no NXT North American Championship of Wolf, while Massman took the NXT United Kingdom Championship out of Walter. So And now it's Imperium without any gold, they got sent to SmackDown. With so many losses, they were such a dominating force, but it was about the new guys. And um, maybe if Clark would be here, he would be the NXT UK champion and no mask man, who knows? Who knows? We can't just assume that, but can't take anything away from the mask of Xavier, who's now feuding with Pete Dunne. And I'm pretty, and I'm pretty, and I'm not sure if Massman will watch this, but I, I think he would, if he has any time and um, any rest, then he will watch it and look from it with a smile or or the Scott's look on his face if Imperium wins. <laughs> but he would, I, I can't imagine Massman with a smile on his face um, if um, High Energy and Bros got their job done here tonight. It's Clark starting off with, five, with Marcel Bartel here. And Marcel Bartel lifting him up. Oh my goodness, what a. Ruth as Bartel is climbing. Normally Clark and Blue Falcon are the high flies from this. And Sasha, for some occasions, also flies as Bartel tried to. Not fly, he just played mind games perhaps with the Clark who was injured because of them until last week. They made, took a bullet for his team and his aftermath beat on by Walter. What a bulldog there from Clark. As Clark is fired up, as Walter, as Wolf getting closer. Flying high as Clark there with the dive of the cross body. As he got distracted there from Wolf, but running shin strike on Patel finds it to Mark. Now Clark picking him up. They took him so much a long time. What a face buster there. As Walter and Eichner both wants to tag from Pew himself. As Bartel with the reverse to jump back suplex. No! Clark using his agility to avoid damage. As now Zasha's tagged in, hit him with a knee. What a knee there. Zasha let Bartel crawling. As Walter's now in. As Zasha tried to fly with double. having double angst at him, but he misses by the mark and tried to hit, but almost hit the official with his knee. Now he hits Walter. But his knee got blocked and what a shot there! Now kicks and strikes from Walter. He's known for the shops. It was power, this man from Austria. While Zasha's from Germany. And look at the power and the power slam there. While Falken and Clark are from England. Eigner's from Italy. But he's also from Germany as much as Wolf. So, interesting in the European battle here in NXT. What a close line there, even though we don't know where Massman is, uh, where, where Big Sash is from. The close line and the swing and neck breaker from Walter. We don't know where Big Sash is from here. We have no idea. We only know that Sasha and Big Sash met while they were both training for the dream of being wrestlers and uh, somewhere down the road. And for the neck break from Walter, some to the back for main attack to Eigner. Sasha and Eigner are no strangers to each other. Same about the rest of Imperium with any of the opponents. 
too much history between the, those eight persons as Eigner tried to fly. I was maneuver but took too long. Zasha tried to eject him but nope, he eats a diving accent for reasons. I don't understand why but it is what it is. Maybe that's how gravity works. As Eigner goes on the cover will be enough to put Zasha away, put the lone wolf away. One right, gets one counter as fighting in. Attacking Eigner's Walters there but Zasha sent him down with a face buster. It's Eigner now attacking Falken. Zasha tried to save him there from Eigner. Making pay with a code breaker. While all hell might break loose here with Zasha with a punch to Wolf. Maybe he thought Wolf would let the cheat shot on him or the strike. The drop kick in Pew. They all know that in Pew is no strangers to cheap shots. I mean. They had so many cheap shots against the bro in the previous eight-person tag match that the brothers and Falcon had with Mask Man or the face breaker. Also, I don't know if Clark even was a one on eight-person tag match before we between the brothers and High Energy. So it could be the first time ever we see this. In this um, variation, as what a roll up for Mike now of nowhere. Can he surprise Sasha? But but Big Sasha's in. Big Sasha's in. And why the ref was to. I don't know why the ref wasn't counting there. Maybe he got um, his hands on his on the tights, but he gets a cold breaker nonetheless. He had again there from Zasha. As by Tag the jack by Big Zash. And he, look how angry Big Zash is. Normally he fights fair, but he now attacks Butter on the outside. And we'll see him welcome to Dragon School. While Zasha is striking on every body part, even though the cameraman doing an awful job right now. Something on every body part is Zasha. The match gets one more to Andy Orton, does Eigner with the reversal there. And now lifting Sasha up, Sasha in big trouble. With a Samoan driver there. And now Spinebuster! Big time! Spinebuster there from Eigner to Sasha. Now bringing Sasha in the one corner. But Zasha needs to make a tag, I believe, as he got stomped out by Eigner with vicious stomp in the corner there. I thought Eigner was going for a tag, but nope. Want to stomp him out and perhaps looking for a sheep shot from his teammates as well. I don't know. Vicious stomps away right again. So Eigner tried to fly. Sent into Zasha. As Zasha wants to make a tag here. Stomp to the arm by Eigner, who doesn't let him tag. And now main attack to the leader, to the wing general, Walter Zasha, keeping himself back up, but Walter with the reversal. Walter with a big toss to Zasha. <laughs> Housing him around like he's nothing, looking for a power bomb already. My goodness. It's now. Now fighting in. As big as Zasha discussing with the official, I believe. So now Walter goes into the cover. It's big Zasha in. Big Zash trying to break things up and he does. As Patel now try to take the sheep shot on Big Zash, I believe. As Big Zash tried to hit him into the ropes, but Walter gets involved. As Zasha tried to save him, but he misses with the sharp lock. Could be a mistake there. Made by Zasha. Landing in the trap from. Uh, as. Clark is discussion with your fish after the power bomb. As Walter on the cover yet again. As Clark now running in. And attacking the official. I don't know if it was an accident or not. I think it was. I mean normally Clark is not known for hitting the official. What a DDT from Clark and Walter. As, or maybe the, his rage be t because of Imperium injuring him got the better of him in that exchange. As Walter planning Sasha there. With all his weight so Sasha could be done for. <laughs> I tell you that. And this water main attack to Bartel and Sasha and Bartel know each other. Well, you wait since Bartel stick his nose in Sasha's business at our first pay per view in your house. As Sasha was scheduled to face what he swung with kicks and strike, he goes against Bartel. What an uppercut! We never saw an uppercut from him. Another fighting pose uh, from Sasha. As Clark now running back to his position. While Sasha got Bartel in the corner main attack to Falcon. Now double team maneuver, first time we see them teaming up as Sasha. Figure 4, but uh, Falcon from the second rope with a stomp, wow. What a variation of strikes. Falcon with a neck breaker. It's Falcon in the covers. Will this be enough? One. But there's a kick out and Eichner would have been there to save the matchup. As big as a huge big boot to Eichner as, by, as it looked like that Eichner was about to attack him. Big as 
was on the second warp too. But he has to go to the outside, I believe. Yes, he does as he uh, just walked to the outside. He's fighting with a full wins or not there inside the ring. As Falcon tried to fly, <laughs> the high flyer with a cross springboard cross body. He wants to make the tag there with uh, Big Zash and he does. It looked like he wants to tag in Clark, but Clark was, wasn't there. As Patel wants to make the tag, as worth exchanging his hands, but Patel is too confused. He lost his wing brandness, I believe, as Big Zash. Right boy with the crowd as had this issue to make it to his corners now Big Zash picking him up and sending him in his corner fair that he is as allowing Wolf to make the tag Big Zash and Wolf now what a close line from Big Zash following him to the outside that Wolf is as Wolf is scared of the big man I mean he couldn't defeat Falcon so maybe he's scared for the bigger man as well I mean he knows how tough he is Undefeated on singles competition with trips to the barricade, normally unknown from Big Zush, but unknown side of Big Zush, the Imperium brought to light, I believe. But with that cheap shot and shenanigans. But there were tag champs in the last week for Big Zush and took the lost, the surprising pinfall from they got a Fantasma, Yakin Wild. Take to the mid section from Big Zush to Wolf. And now what has Big Zash in mind? What has the big man in mind? And the brothers send him in the corner. Hit him with a kick. He's looking for the big Zash splash. Yeah, he delivers it. That's how he defended the title of Zasha two weeks ago against the Blade Ones played in the ass well. And another open change from the top goes Big Zash with an elbow drop. Big Zash looking for the clever leaf. Normally he does only the Big Zash pain. As Walter breaks things up with a clothesline. But it was already broken up, you dumbass. That's a cheap shot. And Big Zash make him pay with a clothesline. Sending Walter packing. And also ready for Wolf. That's how, that's how tough Big Zash is. He's a fair fighter, allowing the tag with Patel happening while celebrating. So, as Patel now legal reversal on Big Zash, try to fly. Nobody home as Big Zash moved out of the way. Now lifting Battel up. For torturing Rack into a slam, oh my goodness. As the end might be near for Battel. Big Zash tried to get him with a tombstone, I believe, but Battel says, uh uh, I lift you up on my shoulder. I don't know how he lifted him up in the first place, but got him with a huge move there and under the cover. But Big Zash kicking out yet again. Big Zash poking himself back up to the feet. Huge strikes and the flatliner. Which busts his Spartel open, I believe, uh, from, his facial from his facial reaction. As now Big Zash tried to fly with a spring, but normally it's not a high fly. That's you see why he misses completely with that. I know he tried for it, but you should leave the dive to your teammate Zasha and also try energy to fight and Clark, who are known for this stuff. Even more than Sasha did, as Sasha stalking Walter there. Yeah? Seen him in this side, what a close, what a choke slam as Big Zash sending Patel for right as. Oh, seems to. Uh, springboard yet again with an elbow drop. This time and finds a mark on the tagged in Wolf. There's Walter wandering around in the one corner for reasons I don't get as Sasha looking on. As Walter now getting inside the ring, he's not legal, man. As Clark attacking Wolf there. So don't forget what Imperium did to him. Choke slam from Big Zash. Two hundred chokes and as Wolf looking for a power bomb on the outside of the ring. Against Clark. Against the barricade. Sides him from Big Zash. To Walter. After Walter get the attention allowing Wolf to take down Clark. What a DDT from Big Zash there on the outside. As Big Zash now getting Wolf. I'm surprised that Falcon didn't even help his teammate, his best friend. While well, he took the bullet from last week, but yeah, that's how Falcon retaliates that, I believe. As Big Zash looking for a power bomb on the outside, but Wolf with the reversal. In the cover, but it's not a first one anywhere match. 
Big guy sending Wolf into the barricade. It's Walter running around as Zash had to move a knee. Wind up elbow drop by Big Zash. Busy now with Bartellus. Ruff is counting out Wolf. As all well, hell broke loose here. That's seven already. Falken puts a stop to Wolf's Walter's attack on the outside, sending him in against the barricade. And oh my goodness, Salido, that's soul from Falken on Walter. As he sends him inside the ring. My big side striked on Wolf. Now focusing the attention on Walter there. And from the top, Falken to Walter. As tag is made to Eigner is now legal with Big Zash. While Falken climbing to the top rope toward the fly, I believe, on Walter, but nope. Walter's now down and out here. As Eigner now get the better of um, Big Zash there. Uh, what, the f what the hell? No tag was made to uh, Clark, I believe. Yes, Big Zash. Kick to the mid-section, to Eigner. Oh my goodness, what a Canadian destroyer there. From Clark. We'll try to get this revenge on Imperium. I send him packing here tonight. It's Clark now. Neckbreaker. To Imperium. He's climbing to the top, it's Clark now. It's Wolf looking on. Look at this, 630! Huge Phoenix splash there from Clark, most impressive moves. <laughs> no kidding, as Clark climbing to the top. That's the 450, will it be enough though? One, two, Falken in as he saved, secured almost a win for his team, but Eichner somehow kicking out as Rush and he had again busy with Walter. As Falken now get involved with kicks, as Walter still get the better of Sasha, but Falken has his back with a neck breaker there. As Patel also back to the official here as Falken has seen enough of the sheeting as Big Sash got tagged in yet again as DDT on the apron from Falken to Bartel make him pay for his sheeting it's Eigner in trouble here this big gut punch from Big Sash also where's his where's, where's the move I need to check it out where is it from yeah we have to finish. Uh, okay. They tried, tried to do it, tried to do the big Zosh pain, but I don't know how. I don't know why it didn't pay off here. Yeah. I don't get that, okay. As big Zosh sends Eignon to the ropes. As DDT from Eignon out of nowhere. But big Zosh is still not down. I don't know if Eignon realizing it. Close into the back of the head. As Eignon with the reverse on big Zosh. As he lift him up, I don't know how he lifting up, but he does it anyway. Big Zash yet again keeping himself up. <laughs> like nothing up. He's a spine buster. Which, uh, I don't know. I main attack to Patel there. Patel is move strikes there as he tried to fly. What a cross body from the second rope from Patel. Elbow drop to the chest as well. It's Patel now. Lifting Big Zosh up. I don't know how he's lifting him up, but reversed. A jump like suplex there. Wow, what a shot block. It's not underhanded, the sleek, you idiot. What a big boot. It's now taking the leg as Big Zosh on Bartel. Sometimes I really uh, forget that I'm a face commentator. <laughs> it's big slash pain from uh, on Bartel with Bartel able to tap out. The ropes are right there saving him, but Walter also will be there to save him. As big slash in the cover, there's one, two, but oh, it wasn't a count, but we've broke it up anyways. Clark got ejected there as Eichner and 
as Wolf now busy with Zasha while Beta is trying to protect his teammate as all hell, but he'll lose what is shot back by Casualta. Got Clark on the outside, but Falcon is busy with Eigner. Big boot, a broke kick from Big Zash to Wolf, and a big right hand as well. It's now Falcon protecting his friend from Walter. Remember, was injured because of Impiumas. Wolf and Bart Wolf and Falcon, old rivals go at it. Might be renewed as Falk with a Canadian with a Sunder flip onto a power bomb there. To Wolf on the outside as a tail with the reverse. As Falcon flies to the outside with a with his five star frog splash. By Zasha now. As big as looking for his tombstone as Zasha tried to get Walter Walter with a hot shot to Zasha. But Zasha keeping himself back up. Huge strike on Walter as Tombstone Pile Driver from Big Zash. Will it be enough to put him away? Zasha with the DDT spike him, but the ropes are right there on the Pile Driver. Much check on this Big Zash, uh, Big Zash pain there. As Zasha now gets ejected by Eigner. As Big Zash doesn't take this too kindly to his teammate and best friend. Get attacked by Eigner. As Big Zash turning his attention to Bartel as well. Uh, as w uh, to Walter as well, excuse me there. As looking for the big rush cross on Walter. But don't forget, Battel is legal. Battel back to his feet. I'm not so sure if Big Zash realizing it. And now he might have. Big Zash with the reversal on Battel. Some people are known for their cheap shots, but this time the opponents are ready for it. I mean, they lost an eight person uh, tag match here. Can some people before. With Matsman by the side, as Clark now the tag instead of Clark, as Clark now into the ring, as Clark climbing to the top, Clark, the high flyer, done cross body, but nobody home. Come on, that's his weak turn. As Clark does his best, tries his best to fight back against Icon, against Bartel there. Swinging neck breaker. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Clark tried to fly, but nobody home because of the case stupidity there. Yeah, seriously. There's no Falcon attack them. As Sasha also on the wing for reasons. Or such a legal? As a Falcon will be legal. What an explosive landscape from Bartel. As Walter close lining him. As almost got the win from Imperium on the final night. As Clark now. But the flight to save him from Walter's ambush, but nobody home. Walter left the wing. Another storm to Clark, but reversal. As the swing and neck breaker from Clark is Walter with another cheap shot on the outside there. Yeah? As Clark flies to the outside to crush Walter, but he missed a bit. Maybe wing was this Falcon splash down on Bartel. Will be enough? One. Two, three, it is. The team of Falcon and company win against Imperium and sent them home packing. Uh, sent them packing to SmackDown with another loss added to their resume. Wow, what a match it was that we had a match at all. As Clark returned with a win, even though it wasn't him getting the pinfall, but it has to feel good for him to winning his first match back here and sent the persons responsible for his injury packing with a loss. But he couldn't get much of his revenge in his Imperium now setting to SmackDown. But at least he got that win. Either way, we still have our main event still to come and we don't know who will be in it. So be surprised, be curious with me and um, let's find out together who it is.